Hello, good people. How are you doing? I want us to do a very short video and may I take this opportunity to just welcome you to Esu Wakago YouTube channel. Yeah, and this is where we inspire, we inform and we also encourage people. Today, I want us to learn something and I have received so many text messages asking me where do I find this form and talking of a form, I'm talking about the form ds260 the form you're supposed to submit right after you are selected as a green card winner or random um for winner for further processing of green card so what you need to do and i'm gonna make this very short so that you get to understand you go to google and once you are on google you come here you can use google you can use safari whatever you want to use and then the the website itself is c e a c dot state dot g o v and then you click on it it's right there it's gonna bring you to this website a consular electronic application center that is the meaning of c e a c consular electronic application center and you click on it like that so once you click on it here is the real education now you might be wondering with which form you are supposed to check and uh, there is the ds160 online non-immigrant visa application this form can only be used by people who are coming with a b1 b2 visa so us will be under the category of immigrants so which form you're going to select here is the ds260 online immigrant visa and alien registration application click on that once you click on that, it's going to ask you to sign in. Of course, um, when it asks you to sign in, you're going to come here and you accept that you have read the terms of the service and then you enter your case number. Your case number is the number that you got when you were selected as a winner. So that case number is what you're going to fill up here. Okay. Once you fill the case number and i don't want to do that because i know um, i don't want to put anybody's case number so once you fill the case number here you're going to hit continue then you're going to follow the steps and you will get the form ds260 what you need to do is to download the form and be filling up the form um uh in your convenience you may uh, save it and then once you feel like you have time to maybe fill up the kids information or dependents information you can come back and do that and you can also do that here up until you can exit i mean you can submit i'm gonna leave it there and then the following video will be for how to fill the ds260 form bye bye guys and subscribe to my channel